We go to the Celebrations Pack, released in 2021, which was the 25th year of Pokemon. And we got two of these here. The Dragapult Prime and the Train On First Partners Pack. Now, let's first start with the Dragapult Prime. There are three others in the series called the Sashing Level X, Dark Sylveon, and Lance's Charizard. The Zashian is showing you an example of level X cards, which were released in the Diamond and Pearl sets. Dark Sylveon is an example of Dark Pokemon, released in the Team Rocky Returns packs, which was the fourth set released in the United States. And finally, the uh, Dragapult Prime. Well, actually, no, there's, the, there's also the Charizard. This is, shows the example of Prime Pokemon, which I'll get to a bit. And also, the final one, real, real final one, is the Owner's Charizard, showing you an example of Owner's Pokemon. So, let's take this out now. Now, of course, um, on the Celebrations Pack, you always get four of these packs and two boost, standard booster packs, when the Dragapult set, you're only getting less. You're not getting much, but you are getting a binder, which I'll show. Right here. And this one can hold up to 60 cards with no problem. And this one here shows you about Dragapult Prime. I uh, don't need to go over the information here. You can do it yourself. But this shows you about the Prime. And there's not much about the Prime series. Uh, this is the Jumbo card. So you can definitely see from this big size here. And of course, we get into this series. So, what else we get in here? Well, a fair chunk. So again, you got the booster packs. This is all you're getting. Again, you're not getting much in the Prime series. But here's a good look at the Dragapult Prime. Now, for the Prime cards in this, what Pokemon did for the Prime cards is that they actually have a zoomed in of the Pokemon in these card series. They're zoomed in with this silver flaky texture no not texture it's just a border around the cards and this exact rep around this border here they always have this in these prime cards always have this and this here is a very big coin in fact i don't think i can really this is definitely not used in official tournaments this is so big and really, a coin is better off to being like this size. You can see that it's like, let's say it's like a third of its original size. So, but, yeah, it's very scary. So, anyways, uh, onto the packs. These contain four cards, and they're all rares. So, nothing too special about these. So, we have Yveltal, Zekrom, Professor Oak's Research, and Mew. That's it for pack one. On to pack number two, which is this. Dialga, Kyogre, Luxio GX Level X. Yeah, look at that. And this is again from the Diamond and Pearl packs, because this is a Level X card. 
And of course, Imposter Professor Oak. So I think I got something good. And as of now, I got no repeats. Because these are the only ones I have. And so far, no repeats. So, and let me check here. Now, there are only 25 of these in the series. There are Bobby Ultra Rares and Secret Rares. But as of now, those are the only cards that I have. Oh, we got Vivid Voltage. So... So starting off, we have Steel Energy, Wind and Stadium, Garvantula, and Go Goat. That's all the uncommons. Now on to the actual commons, we have Yanma, Duskull, Bamfi, Clefairy. And Galarian Meowth. Now on to the two special ones. The Reverse Hollow Samurott, which is the rare. And the other one. An Ultra Rare Rainbow Variety Opal. Yep, this is considered one of the Rainbow Rares. As you can see. This one is Opal. My first ever Rainbow Rare. So that's it for this exact pack of Dragapults. So, now on to this next pack. This one here is the first Partners Pack. Now there are many out there, but I only got to get the Johto Packs. You see, for Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Chikorita. I've always, again, I've already opened this, so I only know the cards already, even the Dragapults. Get two uh, booster packs with the three specialized cards, uh, but no celebration packs, none of that. So this one has the tip, the two here: normal sword and shield, and evolving skies is the ones you're getting, and of course the typical jumbo cards of Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Sin uh, Chikorita, and of course all the others are two, and. Oh, these are actually made by each individual drawer. I noticed that. So, Totodile here is made by Yunobu Yoshida. The Cyndaquil was made by Shinichi Yoshida. And Chikorita oh, was made by the same original artist, Ken Zutomori. We also, if you notice, the number here is actually not the same as the one on the Dragapult set. You're seeing a little bit of a difference, aren't you? This full thing is entirely reflective, but on here, the number 25 is reflective. Hmm, it's kind of like its own version of Hollow and Reverse Hollow, in a way. So, let's move on to these two right here. Evolving Skies and Sword and Shield. First, the normal one. This one is a normal green coat, so nothing too special about that one. Grass Energy. For Uncommons, we have Bisharp, Doug Trio. Salazzle, and onto the commons we have Baltoy, Galarian Ponyta, Blitbug, Mincino, Sobble, and we have Reverse Hollow of Baltoy, and the actual rare is Galarian Rapidash. That's it for Normal Sword and Shield. Now onto Evolving Skies. This one has a white code, so it might be something good. Uh, 
have another grass energy. Ursaring. Toy Catcher. Crystal Caves. That's the uncommons. And into the actual commons. Hippopotas. Feebass with Rapid Strike. Gossifleur. Boop Bat. And Lillipop. And to the reverse hollow is Tentacool. Which is common. And we have Reggie Drago, which is the rare and the hollow variety. Those are actually very interesting packs, I will admit. The ones for the Train On, Cinequil, Chikorita, Totodile pack, and of course the Dragapult Prime. Right there. So that's it for this part of the TCG Lost videos.